One of the features of polycystic ovarian syndrome is oligovulation or anovulation. This means that the woman does not ovulate regularly or does not ovulate at all. The sensible thing to do in these cases is to restore ovulation with medications such as clomiphen or retrozole, which are administered in the form of tablets. Most women will respond properly and if there are no other infertility issues, such as sperm or tubal problems, they will conceive naturally. One of the features of PCOS is obesity associated with difficulty on breaking down the carbs. This group of women may be benefited from the addition of another drug called metformin, which enhances the carbohydrate breakdown. In some cases where PCOS is accompanied by minor sperm issues, IUI could be the best option for the couple to achieve a pregnancy. Unfortunately, there are still women with PCOS who will need IVF in order to conceive. These are the women whose partners have significant sperm problems, women with tubal disease, or even women who fail to conceive with milder treatments such as ovulation induction and IUI. Women with PCOS who go through IVF need to be treated carefully. This is because these patients are more prone to develop a complication called ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome. This is a condition of ovarian hyperresponse to stimulation that leads to fluid imbalance and sometimes hospitalization. Modern IVF protocols and treatment plans, such as elective freezing, eliminate the risk of OHSS, which is nowadays considered as a disease of the past. As one understands, women with PCOS are expected to produce a large number of eggs following ovarian stimulation, which usually results to multiple embryo creation. This represents a major advantage as the chances of having healthy embryos within those created are extremely high. Additionally, options like pre-implantation genetic testing are more likely to be offered. There is some evidence that specific subgroups of women with PCOS might have a slightly higher risk of miscarriage, so careful assessment and balance of their hormonal profile is required to tackle this problem.